Okay, what are you doing? <laughs> is, it, is this the intro? <laughs> uh, I thought I would actually take you on a little house tour. <laughs> Pre-house. So, I kind of want to start from the front. Let's go over there. So, this is actually where the stairs up to our decker is going to be. Uh, you actually would walk up right here. Uh, we would have this big kind of dormer roof over us right here. And you'd have about 10 feet. But yeah, we go 10 feet into uh, where our door actually is. Uh, we're also going to have these sliding doors and stairs up to each one of the rooms. So there'll be stairs right here. And you can walk into a room that's all through here. Uh, do you know which room this is? Can you think? That's the guest room. That is the guest room. So, you'd actually walk right through here. You would have, Christ, okay, so it goes all the way to right here somewhere. I'm not really sure, it's like give or take a couple feet. Uh, but it goes all the way from right outside the edge of this, on this side, um, all the way past here for the room. So it's a, it's a decent sized room. It's really just gonna be, this is gonna be like an office for us. Uh, that's all it's gonna be used for. We're gonna keep it unfinished. Uh, but there's actually going to be a door right here. You can walk outside the door into the big living room. But what I'm going to do is talk about this room right here. So this is actually going to be another door, probably either right here or right over here. Probably right here. I kind of want to keep the doors somewhat close together. Because this will be the bathroom for that bedroom. And for the living area too. Uh, but what what's going to be right here is going to be a bathtub, I believe. I'm, I'm trying to figure out like the exact area, like I was thinking vanity area and bathtub right here and then just kind of like space in the bathroom. Dancing space in the this bathroom. Where you can dance and sing, shower, not really. Ooh. And this will all be underneath our house that Blair's showing you. Looks pretty. Okay, what? Alright, so yeah. After you're done doing your thing in here, whatever you do, this is all gonna be a uh, big open space. Uh, so you'd basically get the sun coming from this side and there'd be windows all along the spine of that roof, hopefully. Uh, I think that's the plan, it should still be. Uh, so a lot of times of the year, the sun's actually coming from this way and you're gonna see sun coming right into the, the main room. I'm gonna put the windows kind of on this side along that spine. But then at the end of the day, no matter which area it is, the sun's gonna be coming in from the, like these big open windows that are up here. Cause you're gonna have sliding window door, sliding window door. And I don't know what kind of door right here. Where does the sun go down? windows. Is it right, just right there? Uh, it depends on the year. It's gonna be the right kind of over here, kind of all through here. So, you know. So we'll just watch it go. Yeah, we'll watch it go down right over these That'll trees. It'll be nice. Uh, but yeah, our front door is gonna be somewhere right around this area. And so, I was planning on putting window right here, window over here. Lots of windows. And then a big door right here. That's my request. And then since we actually have like vaulted ceilings, you know, that they go all the way up to the top, I thought about putting some windows up top mm -hmm. too. Um, but we'll see. Uh, we're gonna frame it out for sure that way. So, and I'm just gonna keep going on the same side. Hey, wait, let me bring her over here real quick. You can bring her into. You can bring her into the living room. Yeah, bring her into the living room. No, stay a good distance away from any of the posts. The footings have like a foot around them where there might be a hole. And snakes. And snakes, which is fun. What do you think, Eva? It's your new home. I just want more space to play. Are you waiting for me to? Yeah. It's a little mid house tour snack. Pills. Mm. Mm. What? <laughs> it's my supplement. Okay. All right. So this is one thing I have changed on the plans. Uh, this is we're putting all the plumbing basically halfway through the house and back. We're not putting any plumbing on the other side. Uh, of course, electrical is going to go all the way through. But there was a door right here. And this door led into 
just a closet. So it's just kind of like a utility closet, but you would access it from the living room. I think what I'm gonna do is actually make it sort of like an adventure. So there's gonna be a door right here. It's gonna be off to the side. So you would come in from the back and I would be obviously another four, three, three or four feet tall. Yeah. So it's pretty, pretty That's high crazy. up. crazy. So you'll come in this door and then say if you, I just wanted to throw, like I, I'm dirty or it rains or whatever, this would be kind of like the mud room. Like I can actually walk into this door. There'd be a washer and dryer right here, shelves, whatever else, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, and then right through here, there's gonna be a doorway that goes into the closet here. I'd rather have that. Is that also the pantry? We can make it a pantry. A pantry, too. yeah, cause I mean, pantry would be nice. That'd be like a, like a backstop pantry, you know? Kind of like how we have at the house right now. So this would be just kind of extra stuff and then you just walk right back out where the kitchen would be. And then y'all are actually standing kind of where the peninsula is, I believe. So this would all be cabinets, you know, floor right here, cabinets. Kitchen floor. or the sink, right? Uh, I can't remember where, I think we're gonna put the sink on the peninsula. The floor is gonna be like right here. Actually, no, we're gonna put- Right here. No, yeah, oven and stuff on this side somewhere. I think peninsula is gonna have the sink right here. And so what we did is actually we changed the layout from the last time we spoke to Eric. And so we bumped our room out a little bit. You're talking about with the engineers? No, no. Uh, Eric and I went over some plans. And since we are actually yeah. kicking the, the the room out on that side a little bit, mm -hmm. we thought, well, might as well give us a little room in, into this area. So we're actually coming out, I think, a little bit here, which uh, pushed some stuff around over here, like where the closet is and stuff like that. So. But we have a pretty big kitchen. I mean, that's a pretty big kitchen. It starts like right here, goes to kind of like where you. But it's gonna be open, so it's gonna feel even bigger. Yeah, it's gonna be all of it. Because it's like so. the counter area, the peninsula, right here, peninsula, yeah. right, and then the just living area out yeah, there. Yeah, underneath. And Eva's play space. Yeah, bar out stools there. all right here, going into basically the wall, which the wall's gonna have the TV right back here. So we should be able to see the TV from the kitchen. Hopefully, it's important to me. So when we have guests over, whenever I'm cooking meals, we can, yeah. I can still see what's going on. Uh, I thought I was cook. But either way. And then the fridge would be, I think, right here. It's like somewhere in this space. Because on the other side of this is our master bath. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, reverse the, the whole thing over here. Can I talk about it over here? Point her towards us. Here, wait, let me give her some more snacks. Water, pre breakfast snack. These things are crumbly. And that's our backyard. We did fix that though. Keep that yeah. very trimmed. I mean, it's a quick, like, weed eating, but still. Same with that. Too much. Too much. Too much water or too much crumbliness? Water. If you, I mean, as long as we stay on top, like if we're gonna be here, it'll be easy to maintain it. Yep. You come? <laughs> so it's the same plan. Uh, stairs leading up to a little bit of a deck area where I think you can, I think that's how we were gonna do it. I can't exactly remember this little section. There's like a couple of feet that I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, you just walk into these doors. This is actually gonna be like a little play space for Eva. In crib. Yeah. Um, and then She's over there. <laughs> she's, she's Looks like you were looking for it. <laughs> no, no, I'm looking actually where the door is going to be. So there's going to be a door, like a little hallway right here. That's like basically this is what your entry is going to be. So you have that that door right there, and then you can walk directly into our bedroom, or you know, like this little space. <laughs> and then this is going to be like a sliding barn door. Eventually, I'm probably not going to add the barn door right away because we don't need it right away. Because I just want a big open room kind mm -hmm. of thing. And so you just walk into our room. This is going to be actually kicked out a couple, I think, three feet out here somewhere. Um, and then it's gonna go almost the whole way down until you get to the bathroom. The bathroom's not kicked out, but everything else will be. And so that's called cantilevered, I learned. It's cantilevered out. <laughs> and so this is actually a big room now. Um, there's gonna be some windows right here on both sides of the bed and over the bed. Um, big king size bed right here. Uh, probably another TV on the other side of the TV, I'm guessing. I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, uh, so this is actually the area that we didn't know what we were going to do. So it's like right in this spot. Like, so that's kicked out pretty far. Uh, 
This might be the closet. It might just be like a long closet, the closet right here. Pair. We don't know yet. So I'm just going to kind of leave that up to the framers and what we get. Mm -hmm. you know, just tell them what we want and to figure it out. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's a small space to figure out. Like They'll let me know pretty much right away, I bet. And then uh, doorway right here that leads into basically a bathroom. So, big bathroom is what yeah, it looks this like. This is all bathroom right here, I'm pretty sure. All right, big shower, big walk-in um, shower. That's my goal. So kind of like walk-in shower right here. And then the idea is like, I think it'd be five or five or six feet. Five feet is like a standard pan that you can buy. Six feet is when you start getting into like specialty made type stuff. So we can do five foot maybe. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. And then, uh, yeah, do your business right here somewhere. And then uh, vanity on this side. I need that. Uh, but yeah, with a little imagination, you can see it too. I wish that I had skills and I could just like pop it in. Yeah, yeah. pop it in vanity right here. Yeah. But no, that's that's pretty much it. And then we have plans for afterwards, but I'll talk about that another time. <laughs> What's up, guys? So um, there's some cutting in the background. Sorry about that. Uh, we are actually on track now so we've spoken to the engineer uh we have you know all the piers we have those piers we didn't have any in the center the engineer actually told me that we need okay we don't need they're like we can work with what you have so um i was like well what's better because i want a good solid foundation on this thing and so they said well we can get a really expensive beam that goes all the way across each one of these but my idea is like I just focused on expensive so I was like well what if I do piers down the middle like you know just footings are all right, right, right down the middle it splits at 10 10 uh, as far as spacing between the two different sections uh, he said well that'd be a lot cheaper so we're going that route uh, it's gonna be a lot stronger cheaper um, so I'm in the process of this right now so some nice deep holes and then hopefully we'll get this all finished out within actually today i think i can do this today so almost done with two working on the last two uh right now and then we're gonna go eat somewhere We, well, okay, I dug these. I dug these in one day. Um, I mean, I started the, the I dug night this. Before. Yeah, you're, you're basically dealing with that all day. <laughs> so, I mean, I just did it one morning. Got a few blisters, you know. It is what it is. But uh, I took them basically to death. Depth. Death. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're tough to dig these things. Out here, it's like mostly rock. And so, I just made sure everything goes to bedrock. Um, I'm just replicating the, as my dad calls, the recipe for these things so uh, next step is I need to find some road base I know where it is I just have to go get it I guess um, I need only about a foot of depth for four square feet so a good amount did you talk about why you're doing these yeah a little bit okay yeah yeah so basically and just to reiterate it's to so I don't have to span this whole distance which the engineer said we could do with a very large beam it sounded like a very large expensive beam but now we're I think they go and 12 foot increments of whatever he was talking about and this is only 10 feet so we're definitely within that so that actually lowers the cost with me doing you know somewhat very little work uh, so i have to do this road base then put you bet you're playing rebar. sorry it's just really cute whenever you're she points so up it's can't see there. it though oh and it's bright <laughs> you get some little baby glasses you get you some baby goggles so that you can't take them off <laughs> you know yeah <laughs> Wrap she, around the head. She would. She would still figure it out. But yeah, so road base, uh, some some rebar that's vertical to be able to float the, the squares of rebar. So we float rebar within that. And then what we actually went ahead and did is we put mesh across each one just to put more metal in there. 
Uh, and then you put these L-shaped rebar that come out. We do about three of those. Wow, can't use that right now. <laughs> and so then there's metal protruding out into this section. And then we do two pours. That's it. So we should actually be done probably one or two weeks from now. Because we Which, only, I only put a day in per week. So. But you're not waiting on these, are you? It's not like not, we're waiting on well, you to finish these before the next step. I mean, kind of in a way, but not really, because the engineer said that it's going to be about a month away, month to six weeks uh, before he gets us the final plans mm -hmm. to be able to start framing. Um, and of course, these I'd like to at least have a week to cure. Most people say it's like really only three days. So. Obviously not these. These are very, very well cured. <laughs> it's the next ones. So uh, that center little aisle. Because this was originally planned for two containers and then we were going to do small uh, sections in the middle. And I was even thinking about doing like a step down. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff that was going to happen. But not no more. Bigger and better. Yeah, bigger and better. Actually, yes, it is. Uh, we added a couple hundred, like about 100 or 200 square feet onto this side. Over there for the so master bedroom. How many more RVs is that? Did we just add? <laughs> we added maybe one. <laughs> no, that, I mean, well, yeah, actually. I don't know. One almost, and a half, Almost maybe? one. <laughs> One, almost one full RV. Plus we're uh, attaching the RV to the side a little bit. I mean, we're just running it up next to it and then I'm gonna have the... So the RV will go here? The RV's gonna go over here. And I was gonna do... So our panel's gonna be on that side. I, this is something I just gotta figure out. But the panel's gonna be on that side. We have plenty of, of the cord. <laughs> RV technical term here. <laughs> and so I think I might just run it all the way around the house. Maybe just have like a little section for it. Uh, it'll plug into the side over there. But then that means that we also have so we've got the we'll have the plugins here for an RV. We'll have the plugins here. You know, obviously this RV has been running here for years. So if we ever, you know, have any friends with RVs that want to come and stay, they could hook up right there. Yeah, they could hook up right there. And Actually, start yeah. renting out our little space. I yeah. mean, this is pretty nice. I don't know. That's just getting ahead of myself. Okay. You can navigate this section now, though. All right, so there's house update. That is another house update. Yeah, we're about to get bigger and better. It's breakfast time. It is breakfast time. <laughs> what are you doing to me? What are you, what are you telling me? Signaling you to close this out. Oh, is that what that is? <laughs> You're not supposed to acknowledge that. Yeah, what is this? <laughs> yeah, y'all have fun out there. Bye. <laughs>